good. It's the most sun, but it falls off as a sun. Sun's so fun. I feel like I'm going to go to the train. Yes, I can't go. I'm going to go. Let's go.
was the haka used in days of old by our ancestors to psych themselves up physically, mentally and emotionally before moving forward into battle. Every single part of the body was used, including the eyes and the tongue. We call that the tukana, along with the flexed muscles, guttural sounds, all used as an act of defiance to hopefully scare the enemy away. And that is also what our All Blacks do as well when they go on the rugby field to intimidate the enemy. Um, so we're going to ask for some of you gentlemen and boys to come up to the hut now. Now we a few simple commands and then I'll teach you before we get our haka on the road. First one, if you like to sweep your legs to the side slightly, slight bend of the knees, back straight, arms out, hands shaking. Peace in after me. Wee! 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 Somebody say, will you have it here? Whether there is movement, there is not. Our first command goes like this. Watch him carefully. Go to the upper bottom of the You say, hey! Okay? Okay, turn to the head. Turning up a bottle of water, your mouth! Hey! Big my fuck, Julia! Step in the fire! All in time, more together! Oh, my boy! Come here! Step in the rifle! What? Another rifle! This is what we call normal stuff! Hey! 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 Yeah. 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 Ja, maar ik vind hem dan te. Outside of the house, the fern was laid down as glory. Women and children slept inside. Men slept outside. 
to keep watch over their families as they sleep. So just remember, these are just models of what our people used to live in. They were much bigger than these in the days of old. So you could just imagine over 500 of our ancestors living on top of all this geothermal content Farepuni. We are now entering into the most warmest area of our village called the Rahui. Rahui meaning communal residence. This is where our people cook their food and this is where they bake. Now repeat after me, Māori. Māori. Microwave. <laughs> Okay, now we have six of these steam boxes here inside our village. Our ancestors utilised the natural resources by building wooden boxes over steam vents, creating somewhere for our people to cook their food. How they prepare the food today. They get a tray like a roasting dish, place it in the box, close the lid, walk away, come back two hours later and their meal is cooked. The temperature inside the box while that lid is closed, 200 to 250 degrees Celsius. I'm going to open it up, get your cameras ready. It's only for a few seconds. Okay, quickly, have a, take your photos. One, two, three, right, closing it. Three minutes. Enjoy the vegetables and cook. Corn, five to ten minutes to right here. Now the colours that you see there, they are the minerals that are deposited. Yellow is sulphur, white is calcium, grey is silica, brown and orange are a combination between iron and copper. So by the time our water leaves Parakuguru, makes its way down the channel, moves through the minerals into our bathing area, hence the softness of our water. You will feel the oil in our water. First bath, 5 o'clock to 8.30 in the morning. Second bath, 5 in the afternoon till 12 o'clock at night. Our water is very therapeutic. Arthritis rheumatism, ligament pain, by just sitting in our waters for five to ten minutes, all your pain is gone. So if you want to experience similar water, you will go to the Polynesian Spa. Now this is the first platform to view the guys. We do have a second platform where we get much closer. You will only see two geysers on top of the terrace. The one on the right is Prince of Wales Feathers. The one on the left is Pohutu, Big Splash. When Prince of Wales reaches a height of 8 to 12 metres, Pohutu will go as high as 30 to 35 metres. Prince of Wales is also called the Indicator. He starts the geysers off first. Now it's not a priest button. It's all to do with Mother Nature. They can go every hour, every two hours. It's up to them. But when they do blow, it is the most magnificent thing that you will see. And they will continuously push water out of the vents for 30 minutes. When they shut themselves off, you don't see water coming from the vents. You will only see steam. Then you wait another hour for them to play again.